Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. We're going to do some product setup video real quick to just show you how to quickly take and get these hyper concentrates down into a uh, 32 ounce spray bottle so it's ready to use. Uh, I know it's nice that we have all these hyper concentrates ready to go, but now what, right? That's that's what we're all thinking. Do we have to pour it out? I mean, there's, there's different ways to do that. You can measure it out by hand if you would like, uh, but we're going to show you how to use it through our 3D dilution system. Uh, done by Dima, so we know it's a quality product. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is you have it, you want to find a stable place to uh, mount your system. So uh, when the product comes in a box, it's going to come kind of put together like this without the hoses all connected. So you'll want to make sure you take the nozzle off, find a good sturdy place that you, you want to hang it on. If you're going to use it on, they call this a baker's rack, you want to take it and just pretty much use a zip tie. Uh, you can zip tie these in the four corners here, put each one of these uh, locations here, and it's, and it's really sturdy. Okay. Um, you'll have it, it'll come in, you'll have four on the, the one side uh, for, and it's a uh, one eighth inch uh, tubing that goes onto it with little threads in there. Um, for the soap side, because it's a thicker product, we'll have a quarter inch. And this is so that you get to, because they have higher viscosities in it. Uh, the biggest thing you want to do is then decide how you want to break down the products. They come with these tips here. So the red will be for your soap. That's a 1,080 to one. Now, if you want to use it, be a little bit thinner you can go a little bit up they will be different three different grades that is going to come in the package it's going to be the medium strength that we want to do if you notice there's a hole inside it and that what is what causes the loose ratio so you'll want to take it and screw it right into the bottom it's in very easily so we're going to go with a medium range here 1801 super high foam and then you'll take the quarter inch hose plug it right in and then this hose will go right to your soap super soap and then the next one is you'll decide where you want this. So we have wheel cleaner, glass cleaner, a super duty degreaser, and the, citrus, and the super citrus APC, which is our all all purpose cleaner. For those that are familiar with the orange degreaser, it's um, much like the orange degreaser that we have in the past. But this is our all purpose cleaner. It's a great product. Uh, and we'll have different strengths. Now for each one of these tips, when it comes to your Degreasers, you have a white tip. This is your regular strength. Uh, as far as your regular degreasers, would be equivalent of a five to one degreaser. Uh, say orange degreaser or grand slam. This white tip will give you that five to one cleaning uh, power. We're going to then go um, also with your degreasers. You have your green tip, which is an extra strength. This is actually if you're equivalent more like a three to one, maybe a two and a half to one of your regular four to one degreaser. So they really can't quite get there. It's a little bit stronger than regular four to one. And then for your super strength, because of the homogeneous process that you have, we can actually go with blue. So because we have an extra duty or super duty degreaser, we're going to put that one on here. So what you'll want to make sure is if you have it marked, You'll want to make sure it's marked correctly on your bend. So heavy degreaser is going to be the top right. Your all-purpose cleaner. We're going to go with green. That's your medium. Little extra strength green here. And then we have our wheel cleaner. We're going to put bottom left-hand corner. Now that's a different tip because of the type of product it is. You have a black, purple, and gray. Black is going to be your regular strength, purple is going to be your extra strength, and gray is going to be your super strength. We're just going to go with right in the middle, go with purple, just because uh, we want to. And we're going to put that here. For our glass cleaner, you don't really want to change the strength on it. You always want to go with the white tip. It's a thinner product. Technically, if you want to use a little bit more water on it, that's actually better. A lot of people think that with glass cleaners that all put more chemical in there for the concentrates it's going to make it better. It's not true. It can leave residue and some streaking. So we're going to go with our white tip, which will put it at 51 ratio. White tip, we 
tip, now the blue tip. We're going to be putting on our heavy duty degreaser, super duty degreaser. The green tip is going to go on our super citrus APC. The purple tip is going to go on our wheel cleaner. And the red tip, the quarter inch, is going to go to our soap. So now we have these hoses. We want to make sure that we've decided on our strengths that we want, which gives us a little more versatility. We're now going to take and connect our, our hoses. So we have this for our super citrus sink degreaser. Now you notice there's a tip here at the bottom. So one thing we want to take and make sure that we match this hole to. So we want to take and when we put this on, just like this, so our hoses are inside. Okay, and we want to make sure that that matches up off a little bit. Let's turn it. It's the only trick that we have here that we have to worry about. What that does is keeps this from turning around as you're turning the nozzle. So then we want to take and this tooth here goes in here, put it on, and now we're able to adjust where it goes. So after we're mounted here, we plugged in the hoses. Now we want to take our, our hoses that we have here. Now they all come with weights. We want to take and slide those on before you put on. These are called foot valves. Now the foot valves are important because what these do is when you drop them into the product and it sucks it up, when you turn it off, if you don't have these foot valves in, the product will then go back down. Because we are dealing with a hyper concentrate, every little amount matters. So we want to make sure that this all goes into the system correctly. Otherwise, you're not going to get as accurate of a, of a mix or a blend that you want. So you always want to make sure you have a working foot valve on the bottom. You always want to make sure it's weighted so it sinks to the bottom and stays straight up. And that'll be on each one of these items. Okay. And uh, all you're going to do then after that is you're going to just take and match up. So I have this one here would be for my glass cleaner. This one here for my wheel cleaner. This one here for my Super Duty, and this one for my APC. Now a lot of guys will take and they'll they'll take and they'll put a colored tape, piece of tape on here, which is fine. But once they sit into these things, they're going to pretty much disintegrate the color. Now one thing, the only hazardous point that you have to consider, you are literally getting all of the chemical that you could possibly get into one gallon uh, that's normally made to be spread over two five gallon pails. So you'll want to use gloves, you want to use glasses in case it gets on you because it could cause some skin irritation. We are taking basically all the water out of this to be able to provide you with a hyper concentrated product. Now what is in this one gallon is actually supposed to be spread throughout two five gallons and then delivered for the most part. What's in these six gallons are supposed to be spread throughout a 55 gallon zone. So you, you got to make sure that you wear proper eye equipment, even if you're dealing with the regular four to one, it's going to be sure. Proper eye gear and gloves because for some of us, we may have more sensitive skin as opposed to other people. So just make sure you take the proper precautions. So all we have to do now, we'll take it, we're going to hook up our water hose. Make sure it's on there snug. Turn the water on. Let it run through. You'll get a little bit of air at first. So, and that's about as easy as it gets. You have this whole system here. You have hyper concentrates that you don't have to worry about pre-mixing into other buckets before you can then get it into a 32 ounce bottle. Straight from here, 32 ounce bottle, ready to use. Take the soap, right to five gallon pail, ready to use. Using very minimal, minimal product. Get it a big bang for your buck. Be able to get a high quality product. Lots of product used in a small container. So now we've taken, show you how simple it is to set this up. We're able to get hyper concentrated products into ready to use containers just one simple step. Make sure next time you look for our videos on the strength and comparison that we want to show you that these products really do what we say they do. They are an extremely great cleaning product. They do a lot out of a little. You're going to get the most bang for your buck out. Make sure you share this uh, information also with your friend. That way they can keep up to, up to date with all 3D's latest, greatest, innovative car care products. Till next time, I'm Donald Williams. We'll see you soon.